Hi guys, you are joining us here on a car park this morning uh, near a place called Hall Cross. We came away last night to sort of get ourselves back into the groove of living in the van again as soon. This will be our full time thing again, but with the addition of two bikes, which we've got, which is great to say now because I'm past and we can start to enjoy things a little bit more. I'm feeling rejuvenated and ready for today as it's gonna be a big one. As I'm gonna try off roading for the first time. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I scared myself a little bit. Yeah, I'm not surprised. This morning we've been sat, well, Mitch has been sat trying to plan the route for today, as um, we need to be careful of what I do to start off with. I can't just go straight out there. I don't even know how to stand up on a bike yet. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Yeah, we're saying off roading loosely. I'm trying to look back through some old footage of when I went out the other week to try and find a place for Martha to just get used to feeling not concrete, is it tarmac, tarmac underneath her. This is what we're working with. If you've seen the, the game GeoGuessr, which is just like street view, where you're trying to work out where you are in the world, that's basically what I've been doing. I've just been going through my old footage to try and find, and I think this is what we're going to aim for for today to try and just get Martha used to it. And depending on how she gets on, because that's only gonna take us about an hour to get there, I'm gonna try and write down some drills for her to get used to. I mean, I'm not I'm not a licensed instructor or anything. Like, I, I'm a mediocre rider at best off-road, but I'm just gonna try my best and see what we can get out of you today. Yeah, I think it'll be good, but I think it'll be good to have some, like, goals for the end of the day. Yeah. Um, so I can get some confidence there and I, I thought I was over the whole training thing but I'm straight back into it again I'm on a completely different level this time yeah but it's going to be a lot more relaxed yeah. try and have some fun with it but now that we've planned that route the day is getting away with us already I mean the sun's out so we've got the perfect conditions for it we've had some breakfast had a coffee and we need to start getting our butts into gear but it feels really nice to be back in the van again properly and also this week we are going to be getting a tow bar fitted to the van which means that we can start looking for a trailer having the bikes and things will start moving quickly so this will be our normal day to day soon again which will be great am i going to be able to read it no this is for me anyway <laughs> We are hoping as well to start looking at some off-road schools and things that I can do as well. So I'm actually getting trained by professionals on this. Uh, but for the moment, we just want to get out on the bikes. So obviously, this will be my second ride out on my new bike. So I've still got a little bit of more confidence to get with that before I start going anywhere else. Um, but if anyone has any recommendations for some good beginner off-road schools, let me know in the comments down below, please. Do you know how hard this is to ride? How hard it is to ride. Yeah, I don't ride anymore. I just type. It's hard. For someone who's been riding for a long time, it's quite basic stuff. If you get all of this done today, I'll be very, very shocked. Challenge accepted. Cut to me crying in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Martha actually fueled us up with a really nice meal last night. So while we go pick up the bikes, we'll show you that now. So as you guys may know, if you've watched any of our previous videos, I am not the best at packing this van with food for small trips. So I'm very happy to say that this week's sponsor is HelloFresh. Now I think HelloFresh is the perfect solution for people like us who just wanna get away for a few nights and don't want the hassle of trying to bring everything with them. As you can see here, the ingredients come all pre-portioned, which means that you've got no food waste. We were able to choose the meals that we wanted before we came away and then they were delivered straight to our door so we know what we're having tonight which is these quick chamula prawns which i'm very excited about as i haven't had prawns in forever this recipe is great as well as it only takes 20 minutes so it's perfect if you have a busy lifestyle that meal was so quick and easy to make and look how delicious it looks i'm very impressed with myself so if you'd like to try out hellofresh for yourself you can click the link in the description or use the qr code on the screen now which will get you 60 percent off plus 20% off for the next two months and free gifts. So I think it's well worth the try and let me know if you try it and what meals you make. The sun is shining and it feels good to be back out. And I'm hoping that we've done all the setup. It's taken us 
so long to get everything good today but hopefully we're all good to go now as you can see martha's armor is over the top of her jacket which doesn't look too stupid actually we didn't want her to not have um, road protection and crash protection at the same time because she's quite new there's still a good chance that there's always well there's always the chance that you could have a, a crash on the road so uh, you got to prepare for all eventualities i suppose absolutely <laughs> so yeah oh you couldn't ask for a nicer day though could you no it is beautiful and you know i'm excited i'm still getting used to this bike and it, I'm, I'm sure I will be for a, quite a while um, but today I've got the obviously everything on including the knee pads as well so um, we'll see how I get on with that. In the last video when Martha was going down the A50 and she was wobbling so much down the A50 I didn't realise that she was sitting all the way up to the tank like this. I was straddling the tank. <laughs> uh, which is why she was so close to the GoPro as well so today when she's sitting further back she should have better geometry on the bike really it should be weighted better yeah it even feels better with my boots now because you'd mentioned mitch when you went out that you could feel the boots grip into the side of the bike and i didn't understand that the other day when i had them on and now i understand because now they are touching the bike martha's also got my phone on her bike because i've got really nowhere to put my uh, gps at the minute on my phone so hopefully she's going to send us in the right direction i can't see it at the moment so <laughs> so we'll see how we get on with that i, I don't like being in, in control of the map because then i can't blame mitch if we go wrong i think i know my way most of the way there so we'll see but we've got about 50 minutes of riding there for martha to get accustomed to the bike again before we're going rallying 59 minutes actually is it yeah all oh, right bloody hell that's further away than i thought bike time is is all good though it's not wasted time we'll stay out all day till the sun goes down yeah boy <laughs> <laughs> we've got to make the most out of this with this weather it's so british of us to say but we actually do like yeah it's 16 degrees that's unheard of oh no one uses their indicators in this country either. We're starting to edge our way into the peaks now, which is why the scenery is getting a hell of a lot nicer. I hope it's more for okay on that corner. But yeah, <laughs> I scared myself then because that was quite a sharp corner. Yeah, just doing a bit of engine braking, but it is getting so nice up here now. The roads are lovely as well and they're not wet for once <laughs> so we haven't yet made it anywhere to off-road um it's taken a lot longer so we've come to a farm shop that we found literally just as we were riding up this road to try and get some food because i'm not doing anything with no food in my stomach and we had our yogurt a long time ago now it's five past one and i'm just still trying to learn push Mitch, assistance. Oh, I've got it. Yeah. You've got to push it against that because you've, for some reason, Martha's bikes with these, with these uh, hand guards on. When you're fully locking it, it pushes on the fairing. It's really annoying. Oh, it's still wobbling. Yeah, we need to get that stand shortened. Oh, they're warm as well. Oh yeah baby. We have just absolutely demolished them scones. I was a lot hungrier than I thought I was. But now I'm hoping that's a good amount of fuel to sort of get me ready to go and off-road in. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not nervous. I'm just, um, I don't know. I'm excited. That's the way. I just don't want to do it wrong as well. No, 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 Still very heavy. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck him. Do you want a hand? No, you got it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a low seat. Come on, come on, come on. 
<laughs> it's a lot heavier than the other bike. <laughs> this isn't too bad. I can get my feet on the floor. Well, that's what we're, we're just going up to. Is it Eam today? Yeah, just to just to like a nice fire road, just to get used to having a bit of gravel and stone underneath you. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think she'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> nice to meet you, mate. Yeah. yeah. Take care. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, see you later. You all right? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit it out. <sighs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> the bloke that we were just talking to up there just shot my hand and said that he watches the YouTube videos, which is still absolutely bonkers to me that there's like five people in that cafe and one of the blokes that turned up watches the videos absolutely mental and then i was trying to pull out and night at cool like i've just passed my test <laughs> straight onto the other side of the road oh god oh you'll get there you know i don't do well under pressure so <laughs> oh dear me but what like that's ace uh, like it makes my day that does it doesn't make sense does it it doesn't but i'm so it makes me so happy and so grateful for it though all right how far away are we both 12 minutes away oh we're going to take a ride in 0 0.5 miles okay guys this is what i've been waiting for since i passed my test this weather these roads are oh, seeing all the little sheep it's just yeah i know we're not even at the off-roading bit yet <laughs> i promise that's coming in three minutes but it's just oh yeah it just feels mint to be out and riding and being able to enjoy it now what a view look at this what a view oh wow imagine the views that both of these bikes are going to see I know. Oh, here it is. This is it, isn't it, off? Uh, yeah. It, you've just got a point here. Oh, is it up that road? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> right, we'll stop here then. Okay, good idea. Oh. <laughs> Dips a bit. Can I just get off for a sec? You can do, yeah, if you just want to have a talk for a minute. Yeah. Okay, what's happening coach? This looks, this looks daunting. You'll be fine. All we're gonna do is we, like you don't even have to stand up at the start, just get used to the ground feeling underneath you and just take it like you would on the road, but just uh, nice and steady, pick your line and then just have a feel of what the gravel will feel underneath you. Keep a nice steady speed, we won't go mega fast and see how you get on. Okay, I'll follow your line. Yeah. Right, just get up just get up to second gear so you're a bit more smooth rather than doing it first. Oh okay. We'll go through it sitting down first, Moth. Because it shouldn't be rough enough that you need to stand up anyway. Okay. You're all right then. Uh yeah, I just don't like my position right now that I'm in because I'm really off the ground, but You'll be fine. As soon as you start rolling, just sort yourself out. Right, you ready? Uh, yeah. And then get up to second gear. Yeah, I'm in second. And then now just feel the bike moving underneath you. Whoa, okay, I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, I 
yet. And then keep your, keep, keep your eyes ahead of you so you know what line you're taking. Yeah. Are you on your brake? No, no. Oh, your brake light's on then. Oh yeah, it's not, it's still that spring. Oh. <laughs> I should have my thing down, shouldn't I? No, you're not, I'm not going to flick any stones at you. So here now, just nice and steady and go round it. Oh. Oh, it feels fun. Yeah. Right, here now I'm off. Just stand up here. Oh, I'm standing up! I'm standing up! How much easier it is standing up. Look at me go, Mitch! <laughs> How much easier is that standing up? Oh, it's sick! Look at me! <laughs> yes! Remember to keep looking forward. Yeah. And then now, look, down here, just roll using your engine braking. Just take your time going down here, follow my line. Yeah. Let your bike do all the work. Yeah. Oh, if I thought I was death gripping before, <laughs> Yeah, relax, relax, relax your shoulders, relax your arms because you want to be able to let the bike do the work. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I just don't know how, like, I, when I put the throttle on, I'm like, I pull myself forward, I can't get a steady throttle. Yeah, well, bend, bend your knees a little bit. Oh, oh, shit, see, I'm just putting the throttle on now. What am I doing? Just roll, Marv, just roll. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? You all right? Yeah, 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 it's just the throttle. Yeah, I know, but that'll come when you can get a bit more speed because at that speed where you're just sort of idling, it's going to jump about when you're getting back on and off the throttle. See, like now, I'm just like cruising on that throttle just a little bit. Yeah, but like it pulls you. Is that normal? Yeah, you got to learn to bend down towards the handlebars and you, you roll over the front of the handlebars so that you don't like sort of pull back. It's hard to explain. When I stop in a second, I'll try and sh show you. I'm fucking sweating. This is hard. Oh shit. See, I just pull the throttle in and then pull myself forward. Yeah, you'll get you you'll get used to it. Yeah. You're doing sick though, Moff. Yeah. I've lost your line now, so I don't know where I'm really going. You're really far. Oh sorry, I, I can't see in my mirrors, but it's good if you can pick your own line. I don't like that you're quiet. I'm concentrating. Well done, Marv. That's sick. Oh, shit. Fuck. Bastard. I shouldn't be swearing. Nothing. Oh. Wait. Holy. That's hard. <laughs> I couldn't tell if you were panicking or you're tired. Which one was it? My arms, <laughs> my legs. <laughs> I'm naked. It wasn't even that long of a stretch, was it? <laughs> you got to learn to relax. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, it is fun, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we'll stop for a second, and I'll uh, I'll show you what I'm on about with your standing position. On my bike. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Now stand up in the position that you were just in, what you think was right. No, no, you need to be stood up more, way more than that. Yeah. Now your knees, Moff, bring them back. 
that grip on your on your side there that's what you want them knees pushed in there your boot gripping on the side of there so i was like this so i need to be further back you don't need your bum that far back but you need your, your legs there and now what you do you bring your torso over a bit like that that's it so your chin you can sort of see over your fairing yeah that that's you that's your riding position nice and strong through here nice and strong through here and then strong through your lower back and then you can steer over your top like that that's it yeah um don't you think you should have told me this before we just went and did that well i wanted to see how you got on first <laughs> right yeah okay you should you should feel a lot more in control like that okay so we're going again round two Look at that. Did you get that? Professional now, yeah. Oh. That's good. That's really good. doing use a little bit more throttle Marv a little bit more turn 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 <laughs> are you leading then <laughs> it looks like it I'll go I'll come past you in a second no, you're all right. That's it. That's it. But hell, you turn better when you stood up. Off, <laughs> <laughs> you look natural. <laughs> Why do you make the harder stuff look easy and then the really easy stuff look so hard? I don't know. Woohoo! Oh, I went into third! Did you go up here? Yeah! Just take your time. You're doing sick. <laughs> oh my god. You following my line, yeah? No, I'm on the left hand side of you. That's it. Perfect. Perfect, Marth. Absolutely perfect. I went down to second then as well. I told you you'd do stuff naturally. Just watch these walkers, Marv. Hello. That's it. And then come round here and we'll turn round. That's it, a lot better. Can we go again? I'm in second. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I'm sweating so much. <laughs> you look amazing, Marth. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> this is so much fun. Do you want a Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was so much fun. <laughs> I'm so hot now, but like it is so fun. It's like being on a mountain bike on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like you, oh, your phone's done something. You don't get knackered 
because your legs aren't spinning like and you do on a mountain bike it's just, <laughs> it's just the bike does it all for you wow i'm so less scared than i thought i was going to be yeah you've done really well <laughs> thanks so how many is that ticked off the list a lot of them i was i was trying to i was trying to do the bit of the turning yeah, no, you look really good turning because you're just natural into it. Yeah. Just shifting your weight over from one side of the bike to the other. Yeah. It, like I say, I don't, I don't, I don't want to tell you too much because you're going to get your own technique of it. I want you to try and like work it out yourself. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It's just fun. Like I'm having a really fun time. I mean, I prefer going quick. Yeah, it's easy. It's easier to go faster, yeah. but you've just got to be in control going at that speed. Yeah. It's like it's so fun and it's so much easier going faster, but it's you've got to be able to correct yourself and do the right things if things start to go wrong. I feel like I was in control there when I was picking up the speed. I never felt not in control. You look good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some turning. Okay, that was that was that was our turn. <laughs> yeah, I mean you got there, didn't you? Yeah. Third. You're fucking flying. I'm scared. Slow down a little bit. <laughs> oh. ah. <laughs> Slow down a little bit more. Oh, big stone. <laughs> You're just skidding, your ABS is kicking in. Oh, that's what that was. Whoop. Yeah, oh, they are. Good save. Oh, there's a rock there. I know that. Hey, oh, what are you doing? You're in second. I know. Just wanted to move a bit. I wanted to change gear. Oh, no! Oh, you're all right. Um, what happens when I drop my bike? <laughs> yeah, and see, this is even harder. You're right. You got muddy luck. <laughs> what happened? My um, that bit got caught on the freaking foot peg, yeah. and my foot just didn't touch the floor. My foot just didn't touch the floor, so I just went with it. <laughs> At least you're right. There you go. Your first drop. I don't even know if I've turned it off, Mitch. Right then, let's have a go at this then. Okay. Do you want to have a go first or? Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come on then, let's get it up. Wait. Hang on, one more go. <laughs> I think it's all right like that. I wonder if I can pick it up like this. Oh, wow, you're just showing off. Yeah, they're not that heavy, are they, really? Well, this is why I've got you for when I fall off. You pick it up. So do we need to practice picking it up together? I don't think so, because I can pick it up, but... I mean, it'd be nice if you could pick it up. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> Honestly, them foot pegs. Why is it not starting? 
Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, um, the thing switched. Ah. Oh. <sighs> that scared me then. <laughs> yeah, it scared me and all. We'll try it on here. Okay. How conveniently uh, dropped. <laughs> There you go, you've dropped it on a lump. It's halfway up already. Okay, mind out. <laughs> Come on, put all your squat strength into it. You're deadlifting at the gym. That's so hard. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> oh, your phone just got wet. Sorry. Oh, my feet are wet. Oh, no more puddles for Martha. I'm not sure how much you're gonna hear as I'm just filming on my phone, but we're gonna actually try a different little bit of trail. We didn't know if we were going to or not, but I've said I feel pretty comfortable and um, I'm not gonna learn otherwise. So Mitch is just gonna try and now, he's taking the quad block off my bike and he's gonna try and attach it to his. Because he hasn't got a fairing yet, there isn't really much place for it to go at all, but it would just be better if he's navigating this section. Whoa, look at the jets. Oh. No way. Sick. <gasps> As if they were just flying over there. Right, well, let's try that. No, they get me wet! <laughs> I'm avoiding it because I'm already wet! <laughs> right, we're going right down here, Marth. So just take it nice and steady now, same thing. Oh. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, bloody hell. Oh my god, did you scare yourself then? <sighs> Shit! I was trying my hardest to... I was trying to have my hardest to put my clutch in, but I couldn't get it in, and then you were like, if your clutch is in, then you'll float, like, you won't do it, and I just kept fucking revving. Why did you keep revving then? I, I don't know, I was trying to get to my brake, I don't know. Oh, I scared myself a little bit. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Don't do that. Did you back off? Uh, it, no, I stalled it. I thought you were just going fucking rally mode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't fall off. Yeah, well, well I, you need to know why you did that, though. Uh, uh... Did you let your body slip in? You pulled your clutch? Yeah. I mean, you pulled your... Yeah. So this is where you've got to, you've got to use your squat, use your legs. Yeah. To, to take the, the bounce out of these things because it goes down to your hands. Yeah, that, it, that's, yeah, and then I was just whistle throttling in it. Yeah, right. You all right? Yeah. I'm gonna, I wanna follow you though. Okay, that's fine. The thing is, I just can't keep my um, fingers on uh, the clutch all the time. It's really tiring. Yeah, it'll come, you'll get stronger. Like that, let yourself weightless over it. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. That's a nice, yeah. Good, really good. I'm knackered though, I must admit. We can go round and do that again if you want to do that again. Oh, um.
I'm not sure to be honest with you, Mitch. I really want to get better, but I'm really scared of, do you know how we were just talking about being tired and then making mistakes? Yeah. I don't, I don't know when. Well, if you, well, if it's your decision to call it, you call it whenever you want. You, like the pro, your progress you've made today is like unreal. So don't think, oh, we need to keep learning more and more today. Yeah, that, that's that's the, just the thing I'm a little bit concerned about. I'll tell you what, let's do that, that lane one more time, nice and steady, follow my line, just so you can rectify that mistake you made, and then we'll call it there. We'll call it, okay. Yeah, that's good with me, yeah. All right, okay, let's try this again. Right, so like this, now I'm off, squat into it, and then come back out of it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking this a lot more controlled already. Yeah, so like squat into it and then, oh yeah, that's where you went up. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a bit rutty. A little bit of throttle. Done a whiskey throttle through it. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. You need to get out of that habit of getting on the throttle when you get bouncy. Oh, yeah. And that's because you sat down because you panicked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I think that's that's the level today. But like, yeah. yeah. I shouldn't have told you to go through that. Sorry. That was quite that was quite rutty. Because yeah. I saw you go, but I'd already committed to your line before, and I saw you go. Perfect. Right then, we're calling it there then. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, it's fine with me. We've come out, you've like you've you've proper proper impressed me and no one's got hurt. Yeah. Oh my hands and everything are just really takes out of you. <laughs> but I tell you what, that is one way to be able to get comfortable of um on my bike. It just in general like, it's so fun. Like it really is. Me and Mitch have just sat and watched this footage through and I've had to finish this with a voiceover as genuinely that is the most fun I've had in a long time. And oh my God, does it make me excited for what's to come? I'm so happy we called it when we did as I ached for two days after. The soreness in my hands and forearms was like no other, like it was no joke. In the next video, we've arranged for me to get some lessons from a British Enduro champion. So if you want to see how that goes, make sure you're subscribed and we'll catch you in the next one.